Hi, this is episode 11 of Look and Learn on AD4 TV Radio. I am the Grammar Queen. Today we are continuing yet again with commonly confused words. There are so many of them. But before we start, let's have a quiz, yeah? Who is ready? How are the following words spelled and what do they mean? Resile, hirsute, staid, and insouciance. I'll take that again. Resile, hirsute, staid, and insouciance. These are words we have treated before and I'd like to know if you have been paying attention. So get your answers ready. Right, so to our commonly confused words. Corpse, C-O-R-P-S-E, is the dead body of a human being. Note that the dead body of an animal is not a corpse, but carcass, spelled C-A-R-C-A-S-S. -S. Now, corpse, C-O-P-S-E, on the other hand, is a collection of trees and plants, is a shrubbery, if you will, a small forest, a bush, Death, D-E-A-T-H, is the cessation or end of life, while death means lack of or scarcity of something. To formally request for a thing, whether in spoken or written form, is to bid for such a thing. Bid, B-I-D, is different from bide, B-I-D-E. B-I-D-E means to wait to stay, to dwell in a place usually calmly and patiently. There is a very thin line between the words broaden and widen. Broaden can be used both figuratively and literally. Figuratively, it means to change or enhance the perception or mindset through experience or contact. Literally, broaden means to increase the width of something like the shoulders or a stretch of road. Widen is used more literally and for things physical, like widen the road. Might, M-I-G-H-T, is a noun that means great power, energy, or strength. As a verb, it is the past tense of may, M-A-Y, and is used to make polite requests or express possibilities. Might, M-I-G-H-T, is different from M-I-T-E which is an insect with four legs and of the arachnid class. Another meaning of might, M-I-T-E, is a small amount of monetary contribution from a poor person, usually his or her very last dime, giving for or to a good cause. That is all for today, but before we go, let's treat the quiz we had at the beginning. Resile is spelled R-E-S-I-L-E, and it means to go back on or not to keep to an agreement. Hirsute means hairy and it is spelled H-I-R-S-U-T-E. A hirsute person is a very hairy person. State is S-T-A-I-D and means boring, not adventurous, quiet. Insouciance means indifference or lack of interest. The spelling of insouciance is I-N-S-O-U-C-I-A-N-C-E. -E. Till I see you in the next episode, always ensure you speak right and you write right. Bye.